Hey, people. Intrad here. The Ravy 3. Hades Wastes Blue Team. Sakroff is a Eversaur Assassin, a risk-reward melee brawler that explodes on death alongside Ghost as a Hive Tyrant, a durable hero walking through objects cannot be suppressed with powerful offense, and support begins in melee with a basic synapse. I shall call you Carlos. Rounding off the team, Gats with a Commando Knob infiltrating hero that shoots you, stabs you, and blows you up. Orkistow begins with a twin link shooter already sneaking around. Red team, Iron Tree is a Lord Commissar. Strong offense and support fighting in melee begins with a shield. Alongside here, Tailing as a Warp Spider X arcade teleporting hero fighting in ranged combat by default. Great for capping and harassing some powerful control. And rounding off the teams, Funny Man to you as a Lictor Alpha. Melee specialists can infiltrate and disrupt some powerful offense and a bit of support. They are on the east side against some orcs. There's a flesh hook on that poor shooter boy who must flee. They did not grab the VP over there yet. Sluggers thinking about engaging. Thinking again when they see the double Hormagaunts and the Lictor Alpha. There's a stun bomb. That might do friendly fire though. Yeah, they threw it a bit too close to those sluggers. But they got rid of the Hormagaunts. All of them, in fact. Here come more. Funny man to you with triple Hormagaunts opening. Lictor Alpha now in amongst some sluggers. Has to retreat though. Not really much of a brawler by default. They get surrounded by an enemy melee squad. Can get into trouble quite quickly. Feeder tendrils can help him out with that. Meanwhile, Western contested victory point is blue. And they've, they've pushed through the mid here. Thanks to Ghost who also has... Triple Hormagots. Hive Tyrant Carlos is off the field though. He starts with a Synapse, which is a defensive bonus to nearby non-Synapse creatures. So their Hormagaunts will be stronger than Funny Man to use Hormagaunts as long as the Hive Tyrant is nearby. But Funny Man gets a Warrior Brood on the field. They will grant their own Synapse. Can also get the Pheromones to support his little Hormagaunt buddies. Oh, we have the Talon Desert Raiders for Iron Tree. Ever saw Assassin getting stuck in. Well, Commissar, with the help of a bunch of Laz Guns and some Eldar fellas, gets it done. Stormtroopers here need to flee. And they're on the power. Can they bash? Those two gens have just been built now. Here comes Carlos the Hive Tyrant and their swarm of Formagaunts. Carlos going straight for the Lord Commissar, who is quite low on hit points, but of course starts with that refractive shield which they are not pitting up there we go I'm not sure if their one is technically called a refractive shield or if it has a different name Hive Parent runs away but soaked up enough damage to help the Hormagaunts get in looks like two of them have adrenal glands as well yeah which makes them actually quite nuts in tier 1 more damage more health more leapiness. They've got eight of them smacking on things. It can it can really hurt. What about Funny Man to you? They've spent their early power on the Warrior Brood, so no adrenal glands for those guys. Also, Pheromone Cloud is up. Debuffing enemies and allows allied infantry to reinforce, which is a big deal when you've got a swarm of Hormagaunts. Might see some Tyranid versus Tyranid action here because this is Funny Man to you on the central power natural power of the blue team. Was that a charge? That was a charge. Extended carapace. Sluggers with their burners. Gives them a couple of power weapons, extra hit points, and of course some orky fire. Synapse backlash is going on in there because warrior broods are dying, knocking back and damaging nearby non-synapse creatures, and they are wiped. Funny man to you, keeping them in play way too long there. And they were focused down quite well by the blue team. Commando Knob with some stick bombs. And Knob Leader on the Shooter Boys for more Daka and also to spot the sneaky Lictor Alpha. Double Guards when repairing. Guardians can also repair. They are helping out a bit with it. Triple Guardians, by the way, for Tailing. No War Gear. So you might see an early Tier 2 rush. They're on the power again on this side, the Red Team. Lord Commissar with a Power Sword. Such a popular piece of war gear for this guy. It's very good. A power weapon with the pretty awesome lead by example. More speed for the Commissar. 
and he do constantly does special attacks which inspire nearby troops and aura of discipline for a heal so we may see ogrins typically it's paired with ogrins in tier 2 so it does heal I think it's yeah, as you can see there, a higher heal when there's less units in the squad. 387 to 481. Executioner Pistol for the Eversaur Assassin. Gives him a solid ranged option with the Neurotoxin. Also seems like a pretty popular choice for this guy. Blue team hitting back hard though. They've broken out and are on the contest of the VP. Need to be careful not to overextend though. Eversaur might be forced off soon. Got some Catachan Devils on the field for Iron Tree. Dangerous to low-level heroes with their power melee and their disruption. Purgation doing some purgatoning. So that the incinerate is to suppress stuff, suppressing those Catachans there. Strat Squad have their Tomes of Titan. If you're doing some reading, you might have saw the may have seen the banishment flying out of it earlier there. Broken through. Not much staying power when it's all sparkly Eldar stuff and Guardsmen. Catechins can help stem the tide with their disruption though. Can the Warp Spider Exarch make it out? They can. Lord Commissar now hits the field. Still level 1. The Power Sword does make him more of a threat than usual. Doing some Aura of Discipline healing. 387 to 419. Blue team hitting back hard though with a triple cap. Can they do something about this power? Seems like no. Spore mines on the field from Funny Man 2. They did lose one of their Hormagaunt broods. Blue team go tier 2. Tailing with Wraith God on the way. There's tier 2 for Iron 3. So Funny Man 2U is the last play in tier 1. They are indeed floating power here. Need 125 to go to tier 2. They're floating 150. There we go. Not too far behind. Sackroff could have enough to come out swinging with a Dreadnought. Would like to see some purifiers buffed by the kill zone axe or something. But they have that pistol, so may not be inclined to get a, another weapon upgrade up. Because it's a pretty good pistol. Double cap here for the blue team now. Well, Kamasa takes a bunch of damage trying to get in there. Meanwhile, we see Ghost breaking through towards the power up against two players, though. There's the Wraith God with Crack Shot on them. That's a global ability of the Walk Spider Exarch, granting them increased range and damage, which is pretty good for Wraith God, as Wraith Cannons will crack anything. Relatively short range on them. Also, area of effect damage and suppression to infantry. That is super dangerous against everything. If you can support them, and help them out because they're very vulnerable to be getting caught in melee. The Hive Tyrant Carlos charging out has rending talons and a psychic scream. So they're quite energy intensive, this guy. They've got the seismic roar, charge, and psychic scream to spend their energy on. Slugger's getting very low. Perhaps lucky not to drop more models there they've got their they've got their knob leader double sluggers for gats by the way with a weird boy in there he is tyrant guard is up for ghost in tier two may have called it in it is a global ability of the hive tyrant interceptors on the field for sacroft already have their justicar have some funky grenades they can chuck as well a psych out grenade that suppresses you and messes your energy up might be good to chuck on the warp spiders so we can't teleport around. Improved warp generator for group teleporting and anti-grav grenade. Typically you'd see group teleport with howling banshees, maybe even two howling banshees, but they have a full-on ranged force here. Tyrant guard trying to charge through, ran into some objects he couldn't break, but is in on the wraith guard and they can't do much when they're tied up by such a dangerous unit. Plasma guns on those guardsmen there. Is that the same for both the guardsmen? It is. So they're all of a sudden a threat. Quite a ranged threat to enemy infantry, especially heavy infantry. They can outshoot them quite well if they 
have their sergeant and commissar, especially these guys only have their sergeant at the moment. Anti-grav grenade, messing up some hormagaunts there. And interceptors were caught in it as well, I think. We have some venom brood for Funny Man. Again, may have been called in. Funny Man's looking quite a, kind of depleted though, down to three units. Tev weapon squad getting eaten, maybe? I think they're making it, maybe. Are they going to try and go in and finish them off? They are not. There's that psychic scream. It's got quite a decent range on it, and I think it's 15 seconds it lasts. Yeah, 30% less damage. It's quite nice. Is it as nice, though, as what the war boss can do with the trophy rack? Because I think that's 25% damage reduction. It's passive. It's just on all the time. Gax is down to a single slugger boy squad. I'm not sure what happened to the weird boy. I wasn't paying attention. Why would I pay attention to things? The commando knob themselves are on the east side. Messing with the Lictor Alpha. Can we see the remain? Oh, we wouldn't see the remains of the weird boy, would we? They blow up. Lictor Alpha may have assassinated them with scything talons. Toxic cysts and now a lone hunter. West side still blue. Double cap. Wraith God. Crack shot again on them. Bunch of guardsmen support. Heavy weapon squad sets up. Looks like they're going for an auto cannon. Good damage to all targets. Small area of effect on that thing. Tearing through some Hormagaunts. Where is the hive tyrant? They're coming in a bit late. Should have waited, I think. Should have waited for him because he could have charged in disrupted things, drawn a bunch of fire, maybe got into huge amounts of trouble, but would have had some backup. There's the charge and the psychic scream, but once they've done that, they don't have the energy to do seismic roar. They need a bunch more levels. Oh, look at this. Sneaky, sneaky sluggers with hide the boys from the commando knob. Anti-grav grenade goes in. May have saved the spirit seer warlock fella off those wraith guard. He helps them move a bit faster and see a bit further. On the power very quickly, the red team. They've maybe been slightly better at this. Once they've pushed through, they've gone to the power so fast. Might get a full bash. Sentinel with a missile launcher in play. What's this? Some capping Venom Brood. And they got their Death Spitters. Gats said, screw you guys, I'm just going tier 3. Didn't replace any units. Getting too close to the Lord Commissar there. Might have to chuck grenades and run, or they might not even have energy to do that. They do have a special shooter, though. An orky shotgun. Hilariously fun with high explosive shells. We did not d see any ogrins from Iron Tree. They've gone tier 3. Fire Prism on the way. Maybe a triple cap for the red team here. Lick to Alpha decapping under infiltration. We can see that Lone Hunter is active. Now that they put this very clear effect on the Lictor Alpha. That's that circle below them. Now they're a bit too close to benefit from it to those Venom Brood fellas. So powerful though when it's propped. These guys are trying to eat generators. Carlos charging in. Pops the Psychic Scream again. And then runs away. Seems to be isolating himself a bunch. You know, wait for your allies, buddy. Here comes the Eversaur Assassin sure what they're up to. Oh, they were using hyper metabolism and a bit of the bio meltdown at the end there, but it was a strange way to use it. Should have used bio meltdown a little bit earlier, I think. 267 to 147, triple cap for the red team. Blue team looking kind of depleted, ghosted down to a single formidable brood, but they're tier three with Swarm Lord on the way, and Sackroft now has Grey Knight Terminators. Yeah, those guys are serious business. Gats with a looted tank, and some commandos. There's that fire prism, though. Long-range fire support, getting way too close to anti-vehicle weaponry. This is a conversion beamer. What is it doing? It's going to go down here. That's a very sloppy loss on that fire prism. I don't know what it was up to. It's got such long range. And a warp spider could have just teleported in and tied that thing up, right? I guess they were 
Maybe they were trying to micro their Wraith Guard. I'm not sure what else is going on back there. Warps Feather X up, reviving the Lord Komasa, levels them to five. Units, for those that don't know, get increased stats as they level up. Everything. More health, more health regen, energy, energy regen, damage. And if a hero can get to level 10, big, big bonuses for them. They do like 35% more melee damage or something at level 10. It's pretty nuts. I think Carlos is going down this time. Grey Knight Terminators. These guys cannot retreat, but they can teleport. There we see them using it to escape. They might be chased down here. Swarm Lord, where are you? Are they going to go west? Blue team haven't been attacking in unison very well. Well, I guess Ghost doesn't really have much to throw in there. Just some Hormagons at the moment. Carlos has been repurchased. Now getting the bonded exoskeleton. And there's your Swarm Lord. 2,000 hit points and this guy has vehicle armor. So it's a tough nut to crack. Decent mobility. Powerful melee combatant. You just saw the Blade Flurry there. I think Blade Flurry... I could be wrong here. I think it only does regular melee damage, Blade Flurry. It's a lot of regular melee damage, but it's only regular melee damage. So Terminators with their super heavy infantry armor would have some resistance to it. Tyranno Formation destroys the bunker. Global Nuke for Tyranids. See the Swarm Lord there using the Leech Essence to steal health from nearby enemies. Really powerful ability for that guy. And they pushed through. They did it. With a big old nuke and a giant alien bug lizard thing. And another fire prism for tailing. What's it shooting at? Oh, those retreating guys. I think the Swarm Lord... I was going to say the Swarm Lord should run at it so that that doesn't happen. I guess the, the Hive Tyrant can just do the cap though and not get knocked over. And they've got crushing claws now. Ready to roll even more. Carnifex on the field for Funny Man to you. Hormagaunt's grabbing that contested Eastern Power. Lick to Alpha Fleas. Leave the tank doing some work there. Commandos do have their knob leader, which, which gives them a rocket launcher. So the Carnifex could be under threat. That Venom Cannon really threatens the tank, though, as well. Meanwhile, back to the west side. Ever saw Assassin's gone for the Neuro Gauntlet. Straight up DPS power melee weapon. Doesn't even perform special attacks. Doesn't have time for that. Just about DPS. Pops the Psych on there. They also have Assault Armor. For charge. A nice amount of health regen from that, too. There's a Bio Meltdown. And that damages all nearby units, including allies, while it's active. Also drains the Eversaur's health, one of their global abilities. But they're using hypermetabolism at the same time to try and cancel it out. But they then got shot down. A Lehman Russ on the field with Vanquisher Cannon. Very good versus enemy large targets such as Swarm Lords and Fire Prism getting some shots in there. Carlos with a nice revive. Level 7 now doing huge DPS with those crushing claws. Swarm Lord doing a lot of great work too. Also provides a speed and reinforcement synapse to nearby units, but Ghost doesn't really have any other, any other units and down they go now. I think that was a Sentinel that got the last shot there. Level 3 Sentinel, eh? A decapped west side. VP's very even. 146, 124. Here come the orcs. Bunch of stick bombs chucked in. Oh, those are stun bombs from the stick bombers. Down goes the sentinel. Just as I said how great it was doing. It dies, just like I said how great the swarm lord was doing. And it dies. This is known, of course, as the curse of Indrid, the most powerful ability in the game. If I say you're doing good, you're gonna perish. If I say you survived, you die. Late game shooter boys there for Gats. Walks for the up, trying to get the cap going. They're going for Shimmer Orb to help them with that. Can chuck it up and negate all ranged damage. I don't think they need to do it here though. It's only some some Terminators. Lone Hunter licked to Alpha doing outrageous amounts of damage now. Trying to kill some stick bombers. They got one of them. Oh, they're trying to finish off the tank with that damage bonus of theirs. 
blue team with a two to one they have both got the naturals thanks to the sneaky commander knob who now has a rocket launcher powerful anti-vehicle weapon swarm order for funny man 2 and yes the speed bonus synapse does affect carnifexes which is awesome really helps those venom venom guys chase stuff down conversion beamer getting shots in conversion beamer is quite unique in that it does more damage the further away from a target is so it's doing full damage there to that lehman russ more commandos on the field for gats a carnifex up for ghost and another fire prism on the way for tailing back to the east side can they get on the vp is clear oh my gods also they want to steal the power instead they can't see what we can see over here that it's all empty and ripe for the taking where is that lictor tier three lictor for ghost heavy melee attacks can leap and flesh hook and can infiltrate for free in many ways better than the lictor alpha there's that leap will tear apart these former gaunts now Although, these guys leveled up. There's a level 2 Gormagaunts. Yeah, can't do much against that Swarm Lord, though. Doesn't want to fight that guy. Rocket run. Oh, look at that. The Purgation completely defended thanks to the Shimmer Orb there. I don't know if the Swarm Lord can get out of that. Down goes the tank, though. Down goes the, the Swarm Lord. Carny effects of Funny Man 2 you need to be very careful here. Oh no, they stunned their allied Hive Tyrant. Might have been able to get a few more hits on the Carny effects. 112 to 101. Fire Prisons need to be very careful about those rocket launches, especially on rear armor. Terminator's getting quite low. And that Commissar found those purgation fellas. Kills one. Might be able to get a decap over there. Carnifex falls. That is Ghosts. Who's now down to Hormagaunts and a Lictor. Double Carnifex is for Funny Man. The new one with Thornback. More hit points and it can charge around. Some sneaky sluggers going through to try and get a decap, I think. Tyranids versus Tyranids. 91 to 101 and apparently apparently that is a thing that happens tyranids can fight tyranids sometimes they just they kind of see which which hive fleet is the strongest and then it absorbs the loser and then and thus becomes even stronger another lehman russ on the way for iron tree red team with a bit of momentum here i think what happened to those sluggers they got found out and that melee Carnifex is doing some big work. They were trying to get that Carnifex down. It's not easy to do with regular melee attacks. Here we go. Double commandos with rocket launchers and the commando knob with rocket launcher. Carnifex is turning around. Sending in the rippers that it has spawned. Got those death spitter venom brood as well. Commando comes to headbutt them and tie them up in melee. And there's that conversion beam I using electro pulse to slow it down as well. 70 to 101. Can the Carn effect survive? Can it charge? Looks like maybe it's far enough away. West side turning blue, I think, from the look of the map. I'm not sure who's on it though. Oh, it's the Hive Tyrant. And they've got bonded exoskeletons. So they could at least get a decap. They, they did get a decap. A rock's coming in from Gats. Can he get some good hits? A very good hit on that fire prism takes it out. And the other one goes down to the Carnifex. And Eldritch going in. 60 to 101. Frantic ending here on Hades Wastes. What is this? It's a heavy weapon squad trying to grab the VP. I mean, someone has to. Tailing is floating resources quite a lot here. It might be that they want an avatar, which means they need more requisition. Vortima Razorback on the field here. With that side cannon on top, twin linked. 
good damage to all targets and really quick this thing. I think it's 7.5 movement speed. It's super fast. Single cap for red. Someone's died. Oh, the ever saw. Looks like a big bio meltdown explosion again. Here comes Ghost again. Level 9. 1851 hit points there. Throws up invulnerability to revive the Eversaw. And then jumps in the Lictor. Lictor Alpha's here. Flesh hooking the other Lictor. Eversaw's back. And then runs. And I'm not sure if Ghost can stick around for much longer. Carlos might need to run soon. There he goes. He's alright. Lictor's still here. Also runs. And here's the Carnifex. 34 to 96. Look at this. Grey Knight Terminators on capping duty. Gonna be a double for Blue, maybe even a triple if they can grab that Western VP. Not easy though. Oh, oh, Wraith Guard are on it. Venom Cannon can't effect, so we're trying to melee them down there. Did some good work, almost wiped them. Now there's a Strike Squad on the VP. Hawks coming to help mop it up as well. Red team are getting their natural back. So it's going to be 2-1 to one for blue, I think. Maybe. Tyrannal Formation. I think they hit both of those Lumen Russes. They're struggling to pass out of it. Carnifex breaking some walls. And I don't know if those Lehman Russes are going to get away because there's a bunch of anti-vehicle in their face now. Really good usage of that Tyrannal Formation there. Down go both the Lehman Russes. That's a big deal. Big deal for the blue team. A gene oh, double gene stealers for ghosts. And they have a Carnifex, of course. Bad place for you to be, Fire Prism. Not sure what it's trying to do. But it's not going to last long. That was a melee attack at the end from that Carnifex. Crashes into a shooter boy and, and blows up. Another Fire Prism on the way for Tailing. Another Swarm Lord on the way for Funny Man to you. Battle Wagon for Gats. 34 to 48. Can those things get out in time to make a difference here? Commander Knob trying to cap. I think they're going to get it. There's the double for blue. Maybe a triple. They're getting their natural right now. There it is. Triple cap for blue team. Could go a long way to getting a victory. Bio Meltdown again for the Eversaw. Making these Guardians die pretty quick. They've got the Cyclone up as well. Yeah, made them all flee. Looks like Blue Team have done enough. Concerted push at the end at the right time in the right places. And they get it done. Close game though. Very close. Level 5 Eversaw with that claw. Level 10? Oh, I didn't get level 10. Level 9, Hive Tyrant with Crushing Claws. Level 6, Commando. Did some great work with that rocket launcher. Level 5, Lord Commissar. Back at base at the end. Level 7, Warp Spider Exarch. Yeah, I don't think I had noticed them using the group teleport. Maybe I just missed it. And a level 6, Lictor Alpha with that Lone Hunter. There you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you next time.